our media is an active and full participant in the discussions about the future of European and Euro-Atlantic and Eurasian security. Armenia belongs to the countries which are neither members of NATO nor parts of the Soviet Union, which doesn't exist anymore. So, like Belarus, these countries have their own security needs and their concerns, um, and they have their energy interests uh, and their political interests and their trade interests, and this is why we're here. So I, I appreciate very, very much that uh, President Sarkisian is here, and uh, I hope that we will also have him as a speaker uh, uh, in our big conference in Munich uh, next year. I also believe, and I have had a discussion with him already when we met in New York a month ago, that uh, we should be planning to have a meeting like this in your part of Europe. Uh, but we're in the very early stages of planning. It's too early for me to say this is going to happen in 2019 or in 2020. But yes, we're planning to do it. And I know that the President of Armenia um, would uh, like us to come. And I very much appreciate that. Well, first of all, uh, it is very good that Armenia has now a president, a head of state, with the international standing and recognition that your president has. So that makes a big difference. Um, he will play, and he is playing, and he will play today an important role in our discussions with President Lukashenko, with the prime ministers uh, and other heads of state.